Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now we are going to solve this problem 275. So in this problem it is said that the system consists of a bar OA. So this is this bar OA. So let me try it. Uh, identify it here. So this is the free body diagram. So this is that OA. Right. So this bar OA which is making 45 degrees with the horizontal right. And we need to rip and it says there are two identical pulleys. These are two identical pulleys with same radius and a section of thin tape is subjected to the two 180 Newton tensile forces. So this there is a force, right? So this is 180 Newton. And similarly here is also the force which is also 180 Newton, right? And it is said they determine the equivalent force couple system at O. So we need to replace these uh, two forces by a force couple system at this point O, right? So what we will do? We will find the resultant of these two forces and then we will find the moment of these two forces, right? So these two forces are producing a couple, right? So let me write that this is this point, center of this pulley is B, let's suppose, right? And let's suppose if this is C. Right, this is a triangle, so this is C, and this length is given. This is 100, so BA length is 100, right? Or AB length is 100 mm, which is given, right? OB length is also given, which is uh, 50 mm, right? So this is 50. Now, to find the moment ab about point O due to these two forces, so these two forces are producing a couple and the perpendicular distance between these two forces is this distance. So, let's suppose if I write that this point is X and let's suppose this point is Y. So, the moment about O will be equal to F into XY, right? So, let's suppose that this XY is D, right? So, we need to find this D the perpendicular distance between these two forces. So now as we can see that this D is consist of CY plus AC plus XA, right? And we are given the radius of the pulleys, right? So radius is 25 mm, right? So CY is the radius, this is the radius, right? This is this radius and also this is also this radius. So this means that D is equal to radius plus AC plus radius, right? And now we need to find this AC. So if this is 100 and this angle is 45, so this is also 45, right? So then AC is the perpendicular component of this triangle. So it is the perpendicular of this triangle, so ABC. So then this will, D will be equal to R and AC. So AC will be AB sine of 45 degrees plus R. So this means that D is equal to 2R plus AB and AB is 100 sine of 45 degrees, right? So this will give us the perpendicular distance between the two forces. So this D comes out to be 120.71, right? So now the moment about point O is equal to this. Right, so we can write that moment about O is F into X, Y, and which is F into D, right? So F is how much? So F is 180 into D. So D is 120.71 divided by 1000. So we will get 21.728 Newton meters, right? So moment about O. And now what should be the magnitude of the force when we replace these, these two forces by a force couple system? So we need to find the resultant of these two forces. So the summation of forces, right? So this that will be the resultant. So the resultant is equal to 180. One is in the positive x direction and another, another one is in the negative x direction. So they will cancel out each other, right? So the zero newton. So there will be no force at point O, right? So only there will be a moment. So now when we replace these two forces by a force couple system, so only there will be a moment at point O and the direction of that moment will be counterclockwise, right? So let me draw that. So let's suppose this will be the moment, right? And the magnitude of this moment will be how much? This is 
newton meter the next problem that we are going to solve is this problem 276 right so in this problem it is said that points a and b are the midpoints of the sides of rectangle so this is a rectangle with the uh, width as a h and length is equal to b right so these are the a and b are the midpoints of these h and b right so it is said that replace this given force f acting at a by a force coupled system at b so we need to replace this force by a force coupled system at b so now let's suppose if I draw that uh, replacement forces, right? So if I draw that, so one force will be exactly in the direction of this force. So let me draw that force. And now I will move this here. So this force is parallel to that force, right? And now we will draw on another force which should be parallel to this force but in opposite in direction, right? So again, if I draw that force, so this will be that force, right? Exactly parallel to this one. So I will move it here. So the magnitude of this is F. The magnitude of this is also F, right? So now if we extend this, uh, the line of action of these forces, right? So this is some intersection point. Let's suppose that this, this intersection point is T, right? So this is that intersection point T, right? So now if we join these two, if I draw a line, and which should be perpendicular to this line and this line of action of force and this line of action of force so that will be the perpendicular distance between these two forces if i join this point and this is perpendicular to this right so let's suppose if this is perpendicular and this is also perpendicular so this is the perpendicular distance between these two forces let's suppose if this is d now let's suppose if this ot length is let's suppose p right and let's suppose that this point let's suppose that this is s point so this ts is let's suppose q right so we have this triangle this o t and let's suppose that this is n so o t n triangle right and this length is p and this length is q right so now let's suppose if we want to find this theta right so if this is theta so then this will also be theta right these are alternate angles so we want to find this theta using this triangle right so this triangle, so from this triangle, if we apply tan theta, so this one will be the perpendicular and this one will be base and the length of this will be B divided by 2. The distance from this point to this point is half of B, right? So this is B by 2. So tan theta is equal to H divided by B divided by 2. So it theta will be equal to tan inverse. 2h divided by b right we can also write this as like this so this will be 2h divided by b so tan theta is 2h divided by b now if we consider this triangle tsb from triangle tsb so if we want to find this q length ts length so then if we apply tan theta so tan theta for this triangle will be so let me draw the triangle here so let's suppose if this is that small triangle so this is t this is s and this is point b right so this length is equal to h divided by 2 and this length is q right we need to find this q right so then if this is theta so tan theta will be this perpendicular divided by this so it will be h divided by 2 divided by q so q will be equal to h divided by 2 tan theta right and from this equation we know tan theta let's suppose if this is equation 1 so q will be equal to h divided by 2 into 2 h divided by b so q length will be equal to this will be cancelled out so it will be p b divided by 4 so q length is b divided by 4 right so this is b divided by 4 and now if you want to find P, so then P length will be equal to OS minus TS length, right? So OS is the complete length, this is B, right? So we will write B minus B divided by 4. So what we will get? So it will be 3B divided by 4. So P is equal to 3B divided by 4. So now we know this length, we know this length, right? So now we need to find this D. So now if we consider this O and T triangle, right? So this O and T triangle, so this is that triangle. 
So as we can see there, if this is theta and this is 90 degree, so then this is the perpendicular, this is perpendicular, right? And this P is the hypotenuse and this is the base for this triangle. So then D will be equal to P sine of theta. So P is equal to this thing. So we have found this. So this is 3B divided by 4. And now what is sine theta? So now if we consider this triangle, right? This TBS triangle. So then sine of theta will be equal to so this will be perpendicular divided by hypotenuse. So this is the hypotenuse. So let me write. So it is the perpendicular divided by the hypotenuse. So if using Pythagoras theorem, so then it will be h by 2 whole square plus q square under the root. Right? And we sim if we simplify this, so sine of theta is equal to h divided by 2 and q. So q is equal to b divided by 4. So we can write it like this. h divided by 2 whole square plus b divided by 4 whole square under the root 2. So this is sine of theta, right? Now if we simplify this, so then sine of theta will be equal to h and let's suppose this 2 will come here, right? So it will be 2 square root b square divided by 4 plus h square divided by 4 plus b square divided by 16. And now if this 2 goes uh, inside the square root, right, so then it will be equal to h. So then this 2 will become 4, right, so then it will be 4 multiplied by h square divided by 4 plus 4 into b square divided by 16, right. So if we take the square root, so then sine of theta will be equal to, so sine of theta will be equal to h and this 4 will cancel out, so we will be left with h square plus and this will be b square divided by 4 square root right so this is the sine of theta so then this d d will be equal to 3b divided by 4 sine of theta so this is sine of theta h divided by h square plus b square divided by 4 so this is the distance between the two forces that are producing the couple at point b right so now we need to find that moment at point B. So then moment at point B will be equal to F into this D. Into D. So then F in and this D is 3B divided by 4 into H divided by H square plus B square divided by 4 under the root 2. Uh, we can write it like this. So it will be 3BHF, right? And divided by 4 under the root h square plus b square divided by 4. So we can write it like this. So this is the moment at point B, right? So now if you want to represent this force, so now we will remove all the forces. So let's suppose if I remove this force, let's suppose I remove this force, this is not required. Now this force will be replaced, right? Now we do not need this force as well, right? So this is that force which will be making theta and theta should be equal to this. This is the theta and this is the theta with the horizontal, right? And we need to uh, represent that moment B, right? So the, for, the moment was, count, uh, was clockwise, right? So if I represent that force, so they were producing clockwise moments. So if I represent that moment, so I will draw this arrow this will be the moment about point B, right? So this will be the representation of that force as a force couple system at this point B. So this is the solution of this problem.